Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a couple tactics that you can use in-game, especially in these box fight maps, to counter people who are always constantly peanut buttering. And for those of you who don't already know, for reference, in this video, the edit I will be calling the peanut butter is this really annoying top right corner edit. I, people who abuse this will typically stand behind here better with a code, right? And they're just going to jump here and do jump shots on you like this. And this is really annoying to go up against. So today I'm going to show you guys a couple strategies that might help you out. Uh, when you're fighting people who just always sit back in box fights and do this. So, I just described the situation, right? You're up against an opponent there. The most important first thing that applies to both tips in today's video is that you're going to want peace control in the, of this middle piece right here. Now, this can either be in the form of a ramp or a cone, although the first trick will only work with a ramp. But, ideally, you always want to have peace control of this middle piece. Even if you're not trying to do any of these tricks, it's always useful. So, that's just like a general tip for you. Uh, now, for the first trick, this is actually a pretty common wall taking technique, so you have control of this ramp, you're just going to flip it, and then go, go for the wall behind that angle, and then slide a cone in. Now what this actually does is, the opponent cannot see you at all if they do this edit, they actually don't have an angle on you, you can safely sit back, even like all the way back here if you want, and just AR the wall. Something you do have to be careful is that if your ramp is fresh, freshly um, edited, it's actually pretty weak, so they, can, they might be able to break it and like put a cone here and get a free shot on you, if they're quick. Now, I, something that makes this trick really good against peanut butters is that often when a player is doing this peanut butter play, right after every shot, he'll probably reset the wall and hold it to, for a second, maybe he'll reload his, you know, his shotgun or whatever. He'll always be doing this. He won't, typically, they won't keep the wall open the whole time like this. They'll always reset. So something that this can be, this trick can be really useful is, um, I'm just going to replace the ball. So something that's really useful regarding this trick is that right after someone resets or re right when they edit this, you can see if their wall is actually pretty weak. So right as they edit this, you might be able to just quickly take their wall and slide the cone, like I mentioned, because the wall is extremely weak and they're not expecting it to be like able to be taken so quickly. Once again, this applies to resets as well. It's actually one pickaxe right after they reset if you're quick enough. So th this is why this trick is quite effective because you're fully protected. And if they're not careful when their wall is weak, you might be able to quickly take it without them realizing. Now, that trick wasn't really that special because honestly, like I said, it's a pretty common wall taking technique. So the second technique I'm going to be showing yesterday is actually more unique. So this trick can actually be done with either a ramp or a cone, and I'll show you guys a code variant in a second, but it's honestly just the exact same thing. So when you have this piece control in the middle, you're just going to want to want to edit the ramp like this. And I'm just going to open the peanut butter there. So what this actually does is this allows you to open up this portion, this bottom uh, kind of like corner right here. And be able to shoot at their wall if they have their peanut butter up you're going to be able to open this up and shoot at their wall without them actually being able to see you at all so you guys can see right here if as the annoying player sitting back doing jump shots i actually cannot get a shot on my opponent at all if he has his ramp edited like this and is opening up the bottom right and he now as the aggressive as like the person who was really annoyed by jump shots before you can now actually fully aggress for their wall without them being able to open up that top right and get a shot on you now, obviously, once again, same principle. One thing you do have to be careful about is if you have this, a quick opponent might recognize that you're about to do this trick and they can quickly just jump up and like try and take your, your wall because one also we, you can't see them and they can't see you. So they don't have a clear shot on you because of this ramp, but at the same time, because of that, you also don't have a clear shot on them if they go for this. So if you do this, it's basically about who's who has a quicker reaction to who's quicker to take the wall, which honestly would typically be you because you're the one instigating the trick. So yeah, once again, edit the ramp like this, right? And this can also obviously be done with a cone to achieve the exact same effect. So yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know with a like. We are approaching 1400 subs, so if you guys could go ahead and hit that sub button, it would be greatly appreciated. If you'd like, you can also use code JEDI2X in the item shop to support me. Thank you guys for watching the video, and peace.